in the day, it was the ultimate insult to dismiss an MPV as a van with windows. Now though, a car that is just that can make a fine buy, offering lots of space for relatively little money. So how does the Cubo stack up? The engine range consists of just two choices, a 1.4 litre petrol and a 1.3 litre diesel. Both have modest performance, but the diesel has enough in-gear flexibility to make life easy. On the road, the Cubo is far better than you might expect from its van roots. The suspension is soft and it soaks up bumps pretty well, but without wallowing around too much. Yes, the body leans in bends, but there's plenty of grip. Likewise, despite what you might expect, there's virtually no wind or road noise, and the diesel engine stays smooth and reasonably quiet. The only disappointments are that some sharper bumps knock through the rear suspension, and the gear shift feels slack and imprecise. The Cubo has a distinctly van-like driving position, but it gives a good view. The dashboard layout is simple too, with a steering wheel that moves for height and reach on every version, and a height-adjustable seat on the range-topping model. What's best about the Cubo is the unbelievable amount of space in such a small car. You get masses of headroom and more than enough legroom. Thanks to the sliding doors, access to the rear is easy too, and the boot is huge. For even more space, you can fold down the rear seats or remove them completely. Along with all that room, every model has climate control, electric windows and remote central locking. Dynamic models add alloys, fog lights and electric door mirrors. While the trekking model has 4x4 looks, although precious little extra off-road ability. Standard safety kit includes front and side airbags, but not curtain airbags, while stability control is only an option. The Cubo is affordable to buy, with the petrol model starting at less than £10,000. The diesel costs around £1,000 more, and 80% of buyers will choose it, which is no surprise given that it averages 62.8 miles per gallon compared with the petrol's average 40.4 mpg. Also on the positive side, the car's mechanicals are related to the Fiat Grande Puntos, so they should prove pretty hardy in the long run. The Cubo is a genuinely useful mini MPV, with tons of space and some clever touches. A few may be put off by its awkward looks, but they'll be missing out on brilliant versatility and decent dynamics.